returning to their dust. Life is a beautiful thing, if we so choose to view it as such. Sure, violence and terrible things are in our midst so often as viewed on the news in such programs, but life is truly how we decide to respond to things that happen and events that occur in our lives. Death is a sad part of life, because the truth of the matter is that we miss people in our lives that go on the path of death. However, if we have a biblical belief, a spiritual understanding, we can rest in the knowledge of what the Lord has written in His Word. In Psalm 104, it is written that all the beasts of the earth get their meat from the Creator. God provides for us all throughout our days, God opens His hands, we eat, but if God hides His face, we are in trouble. God gave the breath of life in our nostrils, as we've read in Genesis chapter 2-7, and when God takes the breath back, we return to what we were before the breath came into our nostrils. Adam became a living soul after the breath of life, and without the breath, Adam is a non-living soul. Dead, a non-animated object, after the breath is taken back by the Creator, Adam returns to his dust. Is that the end of man? By no means, this is the reason God sent Jesus Christ into the world, to show us eternal life, how to attain it, and how to rule the earth. We can't only do this if we are alive, but while we live in the flesh, we die and return to the dust until our appointed time as Job mentioned. If you've been following this series, you certainly are understanding more of God's Word as it pertains to death and resurrection. There will be more on this in another post or publishing. For now praise the Lord through His Son Jesus the Messiah, and bless His holy name. See the scripture from Psalm chapter 104 below, 28, That thou guidest them they gather, thou openest thine hand, they are filled with good. 29, Thou hidest thy face, they are troubled, thou tackest away their breath, they die, and return to their dust. BibleStudyMinistry.com, your online, Bible supplement source. Subscribe, and follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook, if you have those accounts. Also, subscribe to our newsletter. Thank you.